everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Priya and to everyone who's new here welcome to the channel and I'm so glad to have you here and for everyone who's been here for a while welcome back and I I'm so grateful for having all of you here so in today's video it's gonna be a little different it's a sort of a art studio vlog video um, I've got a watercolor workshop coming uh, on the 14th of October so you'll see a little bit of prep for that and what I'm going to be doing for that and then you'll also see um, me testing out some new uh, gouache paints that I purchased. I actually purchased two new brands uh, that I haven't tried before so I'm going to be trying out these brands of gouache and you'll see there'll be some a uh, little bit of painting and some artwork using these gouache paints and some swatching as well just to see how these paints work uh, and also compared to what I usually use and then also I'll be showing you a little bit about uh, my artist date that I went on um, at a restaurant and I did a little bit of sketching and when I got home I did some painting of one of it just a quick uh, painting session um, it's something that I want to try doing more of I really enjoyed it um, and that was actually thanks to uh, this book which I'm also going to be talking about later in the video um, this is The Artist Way by Julia Cameron and I'm going to be chatting about it as well. That's where the artist date comes in. And um, I can highly say that I highly recommend that try to get this book. This book has been really helpful. I am going to talk about this book later on in the video. And I'm already on my fifth week now with this book. It's a 12 week course. And the artist date is part of it as well as the morning pages if um, you've heard of it before. But I will be going into more detail on this uh, later in the video. But uh, that's where the artist date came in and you'll see a little clip of me uh, doing some painting and um, not painting but doing some sketching and just the restaurant and the environment there. So that's something I want to do more of going out to maybe coffee shops and restaurants and just painting and drawing and having some creative time there. So that's something that I am interested in doing more of. So um, yeah, you'll be seeing a little bit of that as well. And then, like I said, I'm going to be chatting about the artist way and creating some artwork with the new gouache that I purchased. So, so without any further ado, I think it's time for us to start um, with the vlog and you seeing what I get up to on my regular basis. So now I'm just busy preparing for the workshop, uh, my watercolor workshop that's happening this month. And I am just sorting out all the different uh, prints that I'm going to include for the workshop as well as the sketches that I've got for everyone to use as a guide and just the little thank you notes. So I've just got my guillotine out and I'm just now uh, going to cut all of them down to size because I do have multiple um, images on one page or I have two of the prints on one sheet on an A4 size sheet and I've got four thank you notes on one sheet. So I'm basically just going through the, going through them and just checking that they are perfect and that they are aligned properly and just basically using the guillotine to cut all of them. So this is not a very exciting process, but it's part of the preparation that I'm doing for the workshop, just to make sure that everything is perfect so that all the students get a perfect um, print to work from as well as they all have um, I have a su sufficient uh, number of prints as well I can print more if I do need to but I do have a standard amount that I print when I'm preparing for these workshops when you're planning these workshops um, it's important to make sure that you've got sufficient um, number of um, Prints, your basically the packs that you're going to be giving all the students that you have enough of everything so you can see now I'm just cutting up the thank you notes I'm also going to include uh, some business cards into those packs as well um, in case anybody wants to see my artwork it has all my social media links on there and all the uh, URLs and the uh, where to find me so it helps a lot um, if anybody would like to see my other socials or just follow me and see what I get up to or view my art. So uh, that's something that I am really enjoying uh, so far. So far all the workshops that I have been having have been a success and they've been really fun. And I've had so many creative people um, attending and it's just been so much fun having everyone just get together and be creative together and just interpret one drawing into so many different styles and colors and it's just um, a really a fun 
uh, session. So now I'm moving over to the testing of the gouache paints that I purchased. Now these are two new brands, uh, the Prime Art and the Pro Art brands. I'm normally using the uh, Montmartre uh, gouache paints, so I really want to see how these ones work. And I did notice that they are very, um, they dry very matte, and they are a bit more opaque than the Montmartre. But in all in all, I enjoy using all three of them. Um, these ones are definitely are going to be additions to my uh, paintings that I do with gouache. But as you can see, I'm just opening each one and I'm just swatching them out and seeing how the colors look. Um, I'm not using water to dilute them. I just want to get the uh, pigment out as it is in the tube. You can always lighten it up with more water once you are actually using the paints. So this is also a very fun process uh, and this is something I uh, do with all my art supplies uh, besides acrylic paints, uh, my main acrylic paints. I do it with all my other supplies, pencils, watercolors. I like to swatch all the colors out and then I put them into these little plastic pockets and I put them into a file. That way when I need to see them, uh, when I'm working with them, I can see exactly what color I'm looking for and which colors I need to mix and I can just pick the colors up quickly. So. Um, in this swatch that I'm doing now, I just did all the uh, laid all the colors down first, and then I just wrote down all the names of the um, the brand as well as the set is the uh, 12 set as well as putting a list of all the names beside the colors just so that I'm aware of what the colors are. So I just spare this part of the video up because it's quite um, boring. I don't think you want to see me swatching every single color but this is the prime art set of 12 colors um there isn't a lot of a variety of colors we look at it compared to my montmartre colors that is a 24 set it will have more colors there's only one green which i was a little disappointed in as well as one brown but having a limited uh, color palette is always beneficial because you can learn to mix colors so um, I have no problem with that. At least I will get to be able to uh, mix the colors that I need. Um, you're not lacking any colors. You can mix any colors with the ones that they've provided. So now moving on to the next one. This one is the Pro Art uh, 24 set of watercolors. Now with this one, I decided to write down all the names of the uh, colors down. Um, the colors were a little hard to read at the top of the uh, tube. So I just want to write everything down before I start uh, swatching them out. Now with my watercolors, usually I have a little swatch in the in the file that I mentioned and I also have a swatch that I make which I keep in the pans themselves, or the pan sets that I have, so that when I'm working I got a direct, um, um, a direct, uh, you know, I can, I can directly see what the colors are that I'm using and I don't have to carry a file around to see the colors, especially if I'm painting um, outdoors somewhere or if I'm traveling somewhere and I'm painting, I don't want to have to carry the file with me. I do have my watercolors with the colors uh, on the swatches in the pans. So with these paints, uh, these ones as well, they dry matte, they're very opaque, they are very beautiful paints, they can be diluted down with water, they can be used more transparent if you want like watercolors. I am going to be doing some artwork with both of these paints um, separately, two different artworks um, in a bit, then you'll get to see me actually using the paints and see how they actually um, work. Um, the artworks are not the best artworks that I've done. I'm just doing an artwork for me to be able to see what the colors actually look like. Okay, so there over there, uh, be careful of that happening. The paint tube had a lot of air pushed into it. So the minute I opened it up by pressing the uh, little top, uh, uh, turning the lid around and um, piercing the uh, tube, the paint just squirted out. But if something like it happens, it's not a problem. With gouache, you can reactivate it. So I just lifted up the excess amount of paint and I put it into a palette. That way I can just reactivate it with water later on and use it so I don't have to waste any of the paint. Although it was a bit annoying that it messed up my swatch. As you can see, there's blue stains on it, but it happens. And that's something that you'll never know. Um, as careful as I was being not to have any spillage, that one had a lot of A in it, so the minute that I pierced the top of the uh, tube, the um, paint just squirted out. And yeah, there was no way for me to avoid that. So just be careful when you are swatching, that can happen. But remember, if gouache or watercolors, if that happens with it, just take the same paint. You don't need to throw it away. Just put it onto a palette, leave it like that, let it dry, and 
whenever you need to use it, just reactivate it with water and then you can use it again. So it's not going to go to waste. It's not like acrylics with acrylics. Usually once it dries, you can't use it again. With gouache and watercolors, you can use the paint over and over again until it's finished. So even if it's dried up, you can just activate it with water again and then reuse it. So sometimes you get the tabs that um, the, the paints are sealed with a tab on top, which you just peel, or peel off. I prefer those ones because they don't usually uh, spill paint, but sometimes you do have the, the tubes are sealed on the inside and you need to pierce the seal with the lid. Um, that way um, it can open up, but then sometimes also if it does have a lot of air in it, it can uh, push out the paint. So that just depends on the paint that um, you're using. So now I compared the paints, all three of them, with my Montmartre gouache as well as the Prime Art as well as the Pro Art. And honestly, they all dry matte and they all are very opaque. So I'm starting off my first project using the Pro Art set of paints. Uh, that's the largest set and I'm using the, uh, the, um, my sketchbook just to sketch with a regular pencil just to get an idea uh, of where everything's gonna be. I'm doing very simple paintings, nothing uh, too complex. Um, I did go a bit detailed with this one but I try to keep it very simple because I just want to see how the paint works on paper and this is a watercolor sketchbook that I'm using and I want to see how the, pa uh, the paint works on the paper as well as how it blends how it layers and how the, do lighter colors layer over the darker colors and how the darker colors lay over the light. But usually the darker colors, they overpower the lighter colors, but I wanted to mainly see the light colors. If you go over a dark area, will it show? And I was very happy that both of them do show quite well with uh, you not having to losing that lighter color. So if you put a lighter color over a dark color, you're going to still get that light color showing through and it's not going to disappear into the darker color underneath. Also, I wanted to test out how the layering goes uh, with these paints and they really um, layer well, they blend well. Uh, you can add as much water as you require to get the look you're looking for. Um, I wanted a more um, a sort of a uh, transparent uh, slide with a very slight color and for the background and I blended it with a lot of water and it went perfectly fine. It performed well and it did what I wanted it to do. I'm able to um, build up layers. I'm able to blend well with it as well. So, and mixing colors also, it mixes colors very well. The colors don't become muddy. I was also very surprised at how uh, the white shows up on the dark blue for the cover of this book. I do, I'm just using the um, white gouache that is in the Pro Art set and it really shows through well and I don't need any uh, gel pen or anything like that and once it dries it still shows very brightly. So there is the first piece or first painting done with the Pro Art set of gouache and now I'm moving on to the second painting and I'm using the Prime Art set. This is a set of 12 and I am uh, of 12 colors and I'm just basically just drawing a simple um, a sketch of a bench with uh, some trees around it and I'm not really um, you know doing anything too detailed or making it look too realistic or um, having too many things of uh, too many points of interest in it I just want to have a painting where I can test out these paints and see if I can cover large areas same with the previous one if I can blend if I can get um, the layering in with light colors over dark colors how do the colors blend and how do the colors mix together. So you can see this one I kept it really simple um, because I did go a bit uh, too detailed with the previous one. So I wanted to keep this very simple. Um, otherwise this video would be very long. So I just wanted to keep it a simple a painting. So you can see there's not a lot of details that I'm adding on. I'm just wanting to test, test out the paints and see how they blend, how they uh, layer and basically if I can layer lighter over darker areas. And how does that look and is it visible or do I lose some of that uh, color and how does it look when it dries. So you can see I'm going in and just basically painting all the um, base layers and then I decided to add a blue sky after I was already done painting uh, the trees and everything in just to see that if I can work around those areas and how uh, much will it actually actually activate the paint. Yes, the paint does get activated with water, but I would really need to add a lot of water over those areas if I wanted to uh, really 
uh, become uh, muddy or smear into the blue. I was able to work around certain areas with the blue paint and I, was, and I had no um, bleeding through or, or smudging of any sort of the brown. And then I went in with some um, pink leaves or pink flowers for the trees just to see how the pink layers over the brown and as you can see it covers um, it has quite good coverage and you can see the uh, trees very clearly so now moving on to the artist date that i went on which was the first time that i actually sketched on a location at a restaurant and it was just such a nice environment and atmosphere and it was just a complete different um, feeling when you're sketching in a place um, observing your surroundings having good food and then just sketching what you see around you so i did a sketch of uh, the the atmosphere in the building around um, at, and then also um, the food that came in and all the different sources and then obviously when i got home then i just added some watercolor to add some color to it um, but that was a really good experience and I really had a good time um, creating that. Okay, so now coming back to the artist way. Now definitely this book has been helpful. I've already done four weeks as I said. It's a 12 week course and I've been doing it for four weeks. Fourth week is going on now and really it's already made an immense difference in my life, in my way of thinking, in my creativity. It's helped me in so many different ways. I definitely, it even helps to regulate your emotions and it's really, really, really helpful. Um, basically what it is, if you haven't heard of it from any other artists, artists are doing it a lot these days, but if you haven't heard, uh, it basically the two most important things that you've got to do if, if you're reading this book is you read the chapter, you've got your morning pages, which is basically journaling, but every morning when you first wake up, you just sit down, write down all your thoughts and whatever comes to your mind, however trivial it is, you just write it down. And I can tell you that it makes such a difference. It clears up everything from your mind and gets it down onto paper. So you can just focus and concentrate on what you got to do for the day. So you don't have all these lingering thoughts in your mind and worries and stress. It just gives you a clear mind. So the morning pages are very important and I've actually come to really enjoy it. And I look forward to doing my morning pages every day. And it's something that I may even continue doing once I'm done with the 12 weeks. So that's definitely important. Another thing that this book tells you to do is in a weekly artist date, which means you do something um, for yourself alone, uh, for your solitude by yourself without anybody and you maybe go out somewhere, maybe you go to a thrift store or a secondhand store or you go just browsing at the art store or maybe you just go out to an art gallery or you just go out and maybe just sketch outdoors, anything, it can be anything, even staying at home, watching a movie that inspires you, anything like that, You did. it doesn't tell you specifically what to do, it's up to you, but it's just a weekly date with yourself, for your own solitude, between you and yourself and your artistic self, and just getting um, that time spent, the, uh, spent and um, experiencing that time and seeing what you gain from that time, so it really helps. Initially, when I started it off, I was a bit skeptical about it, and I was like, oh, I don't want to go out and every week and everything, but actually now I'm looking forward to going out every week, and you don't have to go out every week, but I look forward to my artist date, whether it's at home, whether it's going out, but being by myself and doing something for myself that I enjoy, I think it's really helpful. Um, so the artist date should be about two hours a week, so I think that really is a good thing. So. I started liking it a lot. So my morning pages and artist date, I do not compromise. I make sure that I do it, whether I'm staying at home or whether I'm going out, I make sure I do my artist date. Another thing is there are some exercises when you do your reading of each chapter. After you do the reading, there are tasks that you get to do as well as exercises that you have to complete during the reading session. Once you're done reading, you do the tasks, you do the exercises. Some are physical tasks where you've got to go do something. Sometimes it's just journaling tasks that you've got to just journal thoughts and write down lists and things like that, which I think is really helpful. Um, it really makes you think a lot about things and you may even remember things that you forgot about and it takes you back even to your childhood and I think it's really, really helpful to, in finding any issues that you may have um, during your life, anything that you've come across or maybe someone has told you something that has affected you which you never realized affected you but it did and you will realize that when you read this book and um, that's what I've been discovering recently reading this book as well as discovering who I am so it's like a self-development book 
where I'm getting the guidance of um, developing who I truly am and what I truly like and want and what I desire in life. And I think that's something that's really helpful. Another thing that also I found this book to do is when you do the, uh, the uh, check-ins at the end of the week, it asks you questions about your week, about the morning pages, about the uh, artist date, how you felt and things like that. And I think that really helps you to round up your week and see how it goes. Sometimes you'll have a rough patch where a week will be bad or some days will be just miserable and you will have days where you don't feel like doing your morning pages but I highly recommend doing your morning pages and I've already completed like I don't know if you're supposed to use like a large book like this but I've gotten this book over here and I've just completed one you can see I've actually gotten two of them and one is complete already and then I'm now on the fifth week with the next one so really really exciting it is um, to do the morning pages to do this whole course and see where it leads me and see how i feel afterwards and see whether i've changed in any way and i think that's really important so when it comes to the artist way i highly recommend getting this book it's a very good investment especially in self-development if you are stuck if you're having any issues mentally if you're dealing with anxiety if you're dealing with any any issues because it's not only for artists i've seen read in this book that even lawyers have used it so anybody who needs just to uh, clear their mind and and resolve issues that you may come across that you never know you had and it really helps and with my creativity it's definitely bringing it back i've recently in august been really struggling with creativity and i'm having artist block i'm not able to bring my ideas to life or if they're not turning out the way i want to but since i started reading this book I really can see a change. I'm making more art. I'm uh, enjoying the process far more than I did before. And it's really opening up my mind to my imagination and to my creativity. So definitely, definitely, I would highly recommend if you can get this book, please do get this book. It's really helpful. Um, a lot of artists are using this book and I have been getting good results from it, from what I see in the reviews. But I myself personally can tell you I'm seeing results. I'm not done with it. I've only done four weeks and I'm on my fifth week now. There are ups and downs emotionally. You will be having ups and downs, but it's part of the whole process of resolving any issues that you have that's unresolved, uh, issues that you have and getting past that and also creating a really positive mindset. There's a lot about affirmations as well. We do affirmations every morning and it's got a lot of things in it that it asks you to do and it really is helpful. And yeah, it's definitely um, a book for someone who wants to be creative and wants to unlock any blocks that they have. Yeah, so highly I would recommend trying it out. Um, it's definitely a book that I was initially a bit concerned about and thinking, no, maybe I won't really um, be able to do the task or I won't like doing the task because I like to be at home most of the time. But since I started this, I actually like going out. And I actually like being at home. So both ways it works. I'm still enjoying being at home and I enjoy going out a lot. So yeah, it's definitely, definitely a book for someone who's creative or someone who just wants to get past any blocks that they got going on in their mind or in their life. So highly recommend this. So I think I'm going to end the vlog there now. Um, I just wanted to talk about those things and then I've got my artwork that we've completed so today's video was a bit different let me know in the comments below what you thought about it and if you um enjoy the video like this or would you like to see more of me doing things in my day to day would you like to see that in another vlog because i haven't done a vlog i'm also um yeah so you can also i'm also going to be doing a lot of um when i can painting on site or going out to restaurants and painting uh, like you have seen in the video as well. I mentioned that this is the first time me painting at a restaurant. So that's also something new I started doing, which is really fun. So I think maybe we can expect more of that in the future. So I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it inspirational and I hope you can maybe learn something or give something a try that you saw in the video. So I guess I'm going to end the vlog here for today. I think that's it for this vlog. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed this kind of videos, let me know in the comments below what you'd like to see. Um, if you'd like to see more of this kind of videos, would you like to see me maybe painting on location or at a restaurant? Um, if you'd like to see that, let me know. Then at least I can, you know, adjust and accommodate you and have some variety in my videos. Um, and yeah, we'll go back to my 
regular videos next week but uh, do expect some vlog videos if you enjoyed it um, just let me know then you can expect some more uh, vlog videos in the future so i guess that's it for this one till the next one bye